Hello and welcome back to another video today here again on Forza Horizon 5 to take a look at the most interesting actually new car that Forza have added for a very, very long time, which is this Lamborghini Sian Roadster, which of course is the prize for the Secret Santa this year. If we head over to the festival playlist and scroll across to series, we can see enough global gifts have been sent for us to unlock not only the brilliant holiday tree outfit, but also the Lamborghini Sian Roadster. To claim yours, because they've been gifted to everybody, all you have to do is scroll across to My Horizon, go to Message Center, go across to Gifts, and it will tell you here that the Secret Santa reward um, has been given to you, basically, saying it's the season of giving. The community sent enough gifts to unlock the 2020 Lamborghini Sian Roadster for everybody. Interestingly, there are actually four manufacturer colours. There's the blue that we get gifted in, the orange, which I think is far too bright and clashes quite horribly with those colour of wheels, um, the white or the black. So I think we're going to leave it in the sort of tealy blue for now. The Cyan is of course based on the Aventador with the same 6.5 litre V12 engine and all wheel drive system, but now has way more power up to 808 horsepower from magical hybrid systems. Cyan actually means flash of lightning, which fits quite well with the electricness of it being a hybrid. And this tech potentially gives us some idea what the Aventador replacement may be like, only that'll likely have less cylinders, unfortunately. It does, however, still weigh a lot at 1,736 kilos, um, which means it does suffer slightly from understeer, but overall it's a very fast car, obviously, and drives pretty well. This is a few-off Lamborghini, much like the Centenario or the Veneno that came before it, of course meaning it's worth many times more than an Aventador is. The Coupe is limited run of 63 cars. The one in game, though, is even rarer being the Roadster, with only 19 being made in total, making it worth even more than that would be. What I think, though, is really a missed opportunity here is that despite Forza opting for the convertible one rather than the Coupe, they haven't bothered applying the roof animation thing that they made such a big deal out of when this game launched. Um, which, yeah, given that's such a major feature, supposedly, and they went on about it so much before this game came out, that is slightly disappointing. In terms of upgrades, there isn't much, but there are a few options. There's one engine swap, a racing V12. You can swap its rear-wheel drive if you really want to, or twin-turbo it. There is the usual Forza Aero, which doesn't look too bad at the front, but looks particularly ridiculous at the back, with how close it goes to those fins, so that's definitely not going to happen. Um, it's already on semi-slicks, of course, but you can go on different versions of those, or slicks, or all the usual tyre compounds. You've got your tyre widths, track widths, these are all as you would expect. Um, interestingly, it's not even got a sport transmission from standard, um, but yeah, other than that, that's all pretty normal. So it's the driveline and the diff. In terms of platform and handling, there are no brake options. There's off-road springs and drift springs. Um, and the rest of this is kind of as you would expect it to be. And then there's obviously your usual engine upgrades for whichever engine you opt for. So, armed with an S1-class purist tune made by Jumpy Aardvark and a purple paint job, of course, I went in for some S1-class open racing in the Cyan Roadster um, just to see what it was like. Um, now, it kind of it felt very nice to drive, it felt good, um, but it wasn't really that competitive. Um, with a 6th place finish and most finishes, well, two races being around there and my best finish being a 3rd place, which I was quite pleased with, but mostly because I was being quite defensive and people weren't being able to get past because I started quite far forward. So, yeah, I didn't feel like it was going to be that competitive. Potentially it's because I put a purist tune on, not an all-out speed tune on, or potentially it's because I don't do a lot of S1 class, I prefer slightly slower vehicles, so I probably didn't drive the best, but... I think compared to some of the other really, really fast cars you have in S1, this isn't going to be competitive to at least win online races um, with this tune anyway. Um, there were a few other Cyan's in there and none of them did particularly well, I don't think, either. So it maybe it just isn't going to be a great car for racing. But it was a lot of fun to race this online, even if it wasn't necessarily the most competitive. So I'm probably going to end up putting mine back to stock and just using it as a nice car to drive. 
And that is going to do it for a very first look at the Lamborghini Sian Roadster here on Forza Horizon 5. Absolutely fantastic to finally have a brand new vehicle in the game that's kind of more exciting than a lot of the ones we've had recently, and of course more interesting than the recycled content. Although I have already driven the coupe of this in Project Cars 3 a long time ago, but that's not really a comparison to having the Roadster here in Horizon 5. A bit of a missed opportunity that they didn't put the working roof thing um, on this car, which I think is a bit of a shame. It's very nice to drive stock, very much enjoyed doing that. Um, and with that tune on in online, it was okay. Potentially I wasn't great because I don't do a lot of S1, or maybe it wasn't brilliant because I went for a purist tune rather than an all-out performance tune just to avoid horrible Forza Aero. But yeah, I don't think it's ever going to be super, super competitive based on that small test drive, but... I could be wrong. Like I say, I don't do much S1 class racing. But yeah, I think really this should be kept as just a nice car to drive stock rather than something to race. But yeah, very cool to have it here. Very much enjoyed driving it. And yeah, go and pick yours up from the message center if you haven't already. It's a very cool car to have, even if I probably won't use it for that much again. But anyway, for a very first look at this new Lamborghini Sian Roadster here on Forza Horizon 5, that is going to be all. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll be back with the next video very soon. Mm -hmm.